Welcome to the American Dream, a show that started right here in San Diego, America's finest city, that now spans positive media all across the country, real stories in real neighborhoods. Hi, I'm your host, Craig Sewing, and here's the American Dream. Welcome to the American Dream, a real show, not a reality show. The real estate, the lifestyle, the culture. It's not just about what you're living in, but the community you're going to live in. It's the American Dream. There's nothing quite like a Minnesota summer. Whether you enjoy a day on the lake or an evening by the bonfire, as temperatures cool, you do not have to surrender to the winter blues. Today, we're gonna to be checking out a newer business to the Twin Cities and an activity, Whirly Ball. I've asked the host of Selling the Twin Cities to join me today for a lot of fun and a little healthy competition. Let's go check it out. Thanks for having us today at Whirly Ball Twin Cities. Tell us, what is Whirly Ball? Well, Whirly Ball is a cross between basketball, lacrosse, and hockey, playing bumper cars. Five on five, red shoots on red, yellow shoots on yellow. You've got the goal here, which has the sensor in the middle. Um, so to score, you're using your trackball scoop from 70s, and you can only touch the ball with that scoop. And so you hit the sensor in the middle, it goes off, you get a treat, everybody wins. Outside of Whirly Ball, what can people come here to enjoy when they visit you guys? Well, we've got tag with lasers, bowling, um, which has you know traditional bowling or a newfangled sort of, they sort of market it as like, it's a, it's a video game version of bowling, but it's really just more of a fast paced thing called hyper bowling. Well, how do people book time here at your facility or how do they get to you to schedule their whirly ball sessions? You would go to our website, follow the prompts and they'll put you in touch with an event coordinator that can then cater to your needs, set up uh, Joey's 12th birthday party or the big corporate event that you're trying to do for the holidays. So, um, and on that note, we've got gift cards available, perfect stocking stuffer this time of year, so. Hi, Amy. Hi. Thanks for coming. Yeah. I'm so excited that you're a host this season. Where did you grow up in Minnesota? actually in Forest Lake, just north of the cities. What are you most excited about for hosting on the season of American Dream? Meeting new people, um, actually learning a little bit more about the Twin Cities myself. Patrick, have you ever played Whirly Ball? I never have. Well, we're gonna have a lot of fun today. And what do you think your favorite thing to do all winter long is? A lot of great breweries in the area, um, both on the Wisconsin side and Minnesota side. Um, just try to stay active, so, you know, just trying new things. Sherry, thanks for being with us today. Uh, what is your favorite memory from American Dream TV? My favorite memory from American Dream is all the spontaneous things that we do along the way. We start out with a great plan and then we just sort of take a side road and end up doing something really fun in addition to what we set out to do. So. Just the spontaneity and kind of the ease of it and really showing off what is the American dream. Lisa, thanks for joining me. Have you ever played Whirly Ball before? So I haven't. I know that it involves throwing a ball and bumper cars. That's about all I know. That's all you need to know right now. We're gonna have fun, don't worry. Awesome, what are you excited for about being a host with American Dream TV? So many things. I think the thing I'm most excited about is to let people know how gorgeous this state is and how rich the culture and the trails and the lakes and there's just no ending there's no end to the number of things that you can do while you're here. Amy where did you grow up in Minnesota? I actually grew up in Egan. Cool yep. and what is your favorite thing to do in winter? Stay inside. <laughs> Well, we're going to have a lot of fun and do an inside activity today. Have you ever played Whirly Ball? I have never played Whirly Ball. Cool. I think it's going to be fun.
thanks to Drew and Whirly Ball Twin Cities, as well as the cast of Selling the Twin Cities for joining me today. It's gonna be an exciting season of Selling the Twin Cities. Cheers to your American dream. Welcome to the American Dream. I'm Sarah Yoakum. And I'm Jody Klepak with Yoakum Real Estate Group and we're host of the show. And we're here at downtown Lake Elmo. This is where we raised our families. We frequent the Lake Elmo Inn, the restaurants that are nearby, the golf course, and our sons played baseball here downtown. We're gonna head across the street next to one of the local shops and buy a gift for one of our clients. Yep, here in Lake Elmo, we've got a lot of great clientele. We love the area, we sell it here quite a bit. So we're gonna grab a gift and then we're gonna go introduce you to some other places in town, so come along. First of all, I'm so glad you're here. Thank, Thank you. you. And our store is celebrating almost a one year anniversary. We are La Via Bell in Lake Elmo. Um, our story and store started three years ago when our daughter had a crisis moment with anxiety and a panic disorder. When our daughter was in and out of hospitals for five months three years ago, I had to quit the corporate career that I had been chasing for 20 plus years and stay home and care for her. Mm. So Livia Bell literally started in her bedroom one evening while I watched her sleep. Oh. And Livia Bell is French for life is beautiful. Oh, um, and the expression means choose your own path to happiness and inspire others. And why Lake Elmo? It's our home and it's our community. And community became extremely important to us when we were in that crisis moment with our daughter. A lot of our product in the store is locally made and or women owned businesses that I, that I collaborate with. So case in point, we have an event here this afternoon that we're getting ready for. So tonight we're doing a snip and sip with um, Petal and Stick. Meg Bicek is a local botanist. So she grows all her own flowers at her house. She has a one acre property and it's beautiful. Um, but tonight we're gonna get I think 12 women in here. I bring in the wine and the charcuterie and the desserts and actually we, I work with another woman, Margie Schmidt with Sprout Nutrition and Wellness. Women just sit and talk and so the events here are not about teaching or selling, it's more about gathering. But I think that's about this desire to bring beauty and joy to people's lives and um, we very purposefully are a gift store because I really purposefully want to help people celebrate and honor each other and others. I enjoy being a part of those moments as well as helping somebody find a special gift. Well, and for we're going to start out today by employing you to give us a special <laughs> yes. gift for a special people that are here in Lake Elmo that we've been working with. So we want to entrust you with that because I think it just works, right? It, it just absolutely, absolutely works oh, for what thank we're you. looking to do. Yeah. So. Well, great. Thank yeah, so I love that you're here. Thank great you so much. Field to St. Croix of Lake Elmo and we've spent a lot of time here. We raised our families here, our kids played at the parks and we actually had birthday parties at the neighborhood barn. It is such a quaint, quiet neighborhood and the homes are so unique. So we're here now at the house in Lake Elmo. We're gonna stop by and say hi to our favorite clients, drop off a little gift from the local shop. This is one example of the homes that you would find in this neighborhood. Truly, we call it the Craftsman Retreat. It's just done so well. Hardwood floors, beam ceilings, accentuating the beautiful views of this lot. Trans and windows with stained glass. We've got the fall leaves coming in and truly this lot is beautiful all times of the year. This neighborhood is such a great spot for families and kids and this backyard is a perfect example. This has got the underground pool and the sport court and room to play. This might be our favorite room in the house. Absolutely. This is the sunroom, which has windows all the way around. Again, accentuating the views, glass transom, just the perfect spot to read a book, cozy up with the family, do homework, or even work from home. Well, and what you're looking at out these windows is prairie grass and natural habitat, and it brings in birds and butterflies and hummingbirds, and it is incredible. Yep, Lake Elmo designed this neighborhood around that to bring in the natural feeling and native grasses. and something like the barn here which is also historical we love this neighborhood we love this area thanks so much for joining us on american dream tv we hope to see you in the next episode
Hello and welcome to Minneapolis, Minnesota. My name is Lisa Dunn and I'll be your host today on American Dream. Today I'm going to be taking you over the Minneapolis lakes to show you a little bit about what the urban lake life is like. And then after that, we'll take an up close and personal look at Lake Nokomis, which happens to be my personal favorite. Get out of my way. So we just finished our flight. It was amazing. This was our very professional aviation flight instructor, pilot, Brock Wiley. Hi, Brock. Hi. Thank you so much for the amazing You're flight. You're welcome. So I probably should have asked you this before we got in the helicopter. Oh. How long have you been flying? Since 2014. All right, so we weren't students. Correct. What do you usually bring up? Sure. Who's hiring you for, for oh, tours? Oh, yes. So it's mostly students. We're a flight school first and foremost. Uh, but beyond that, we, we've done gender reveals. We've done photo flights. Um, you name it, if they have a job, we'll try to do it. Uh, charters are a whole nother side that's up and coming. What's been your favorite site in yeah. Minnesota you've flown so over? My two favorites are flying over the Twin Cities, seeing the stadiums, as well as Lake Minnetonka nearby our airport. We get to see tons of famous homes, old homes, um, all over Lake Minnetonka. Brock, thank you so much. This was so fun. My very first time in a helicopter and we got to do it as the seasons are changing over the fall colors. Next, we're gonna bring you to Lake Nokomis so we can take an up close personal look at what's happening at that lake. One of the top 10 things to do in Minneapolis when you visit is to come see the lakes, no matter what time of year it is. In the summer, Lake Harriet is one of the most popular lakes. There's a lake pavilion there where there's live music all summer long, and you can stop and get some popcorn and ice cream while you visit as well. So here we are at my favorite lake, Lake Nokomis. We're about 20 minutes south of the chain of lakes that you saw from the aerial view when we were in the helicopter. And because Lake Nokomis is a little more removed, it tends to have a little different vibe. When you're in the chain of lakes, there's a lot of people and a lot of activity and it's really uplifting. And here on Lake Nokomis, it's a much more quiet, serene feel. It's a great place to come and kayak and canoe and enjoy some water sports and it'll be a nice serene setting so take it in when you're in minneapolis the nokomis area is hugely walkable nokomis village is just a block or two down and there's thrift shops a bar with a bowling alley a grocery store and lots of other things to help keep yourself busy with everything walkable it's so easy to get out and enjoy the outdoors no matter what season it is Minneapolis is also known for the Grand Rounds, which is over 100 miles of paved bike paths and walking paths. Almost all of the entire Minneapolis Park and Rec District is connected by those paths. So when you're in town, make sure that you grab yourself a hike or a bike and get out and enjoy the outdoors. The Nokomis area has so many beautiful homes to show. I love showing homes in this area. Everything from Tudors in the 1920s that have just beautiful original woodwork to homes that were built in the 50s and 60s. Your money will buy so much more real estate here in the Nokomis area compared to other areas of the Twin Cities when you're near a lake. I hope you had as much fun as I did today. I've been your host, Lisa Dunn. I'll see you next time on The American Dream. Hi and welcome to The American Dream. I'm your host, Jason Walgrave. Many homeowners are deciding to stay and renovate their homes due to high interest rates and low inventory. Come take a look what Pebble Creek Custom Homes has just finished.
Today we're in beautiful Prior Lake, Minnesota on Prior Lake. Many of today's homeowners have decided to stay in their home, do renovations rather than move. Jeff, what was one of the reasons you guys decided to stay and renovate? Well, after talking to many builders, uh, we decided we wanted to get in the home quicker than having to wait you know, over a year to move mm -hmm. into our home. So we found out that renovating our home was gonna be a more timely way for us to get into the home quicker. And, and Lena, many homeowners have found the location they wanna be in. They love the lot, you guys are on the lake. Was that important in making that decision to stay? Yes, the location here is um, amazing. It's close to everything. You're in and out of the neighborhood um, fast, quickly. <laughs> and the we love the layout and the space of this home. And it gave us everything that we wanted. You guys have a beautiful home. I'm very excited to take a look at all the renovations. Let's come check it out. With Pebble Creek Custom Homes, Derek and Jarek, they are a luxury local custom home builder and remodeler. Today we're taking a look at an amazing renovation that they just completed. Guys, tell me a little bit about the design process and how you get started. Yeah, first we do an in-house uh, walkthrough with a customer and then we do design work and selections. And Derek, the, the way the house looks today um, from where we began is a, is a huge uh, transformation. Uh, tell us a little bit about how that happens. Yeah, it is. I mean, the previous house was a beautiful home, but it wasn't the style of the customer. So um, this particular house, we took all the way down to the studs and we changed layouts and floor plans and it turned out wonderful. Let's take a look around and see uh, the, uh, the completion of this house. Guys, thanks for coming in today and sharing this incredible renovation. You're welcome. Minnesota is the land of 10,000 lakes and more water frontage than Florida California and Hawaii combined. Today we're having lunch at Charlie's on Prior Lake, enjoying a fantastic meal and enjoying the views. This is Jason Walgrave with the American Dream TV. Thank you for joining us today. We'll see you next time. My name's Art Hayes, and I'm your host for the American Dream Selling Minnesota. Today we're on our way to Red Wing, an idyllic town 65 minutes southeast of Minneapolis situated on the Mississippi River. Founded in the late 1850s and with just over 16,000 residents, Red Wing's known for three things. First, Red Wing work boots, still manufactured right in Red Wing, Minnesota. Second, a great pottery scene in terms of production and retail, given the strong clay and unlimited water from the Mississippi. And the third, my personal favorite, Minnesota's best bakery, three years.
So we made it to Red Wing. Let's go in and check out stop number one, Canish Bakery. So I'm here in Red Wing at my favorite bakery in the state of Minnesota's favorite bakery, Hannish Bakery with the owner, Bill Hannish. So Bill, just a couple of questions for you. Tell me, how'd you get started in the bakery business? Well, funny story is I was whipping donuts in a golf cart, got in trouble, lost my job, and I ended up here at a bakery. And so, wait a second. You're doing donuts in a golf cart, now you make donuts, so it's kind of a full circle kind of thing. I mean, a donut is a full circle. And this is true. <laughs> so tell me, donuts, while we're on the subject of donuts, what are some of the more popular items and what's your favorite item at Hannish Bakery? Well, the maple bacon is a very popular donut here and uh, we've got, you know, delicious sprinkles. Everybody loves sprinkles, but uh, my favorite is the apple fritter, especially if you can get it warm and right out of the fryer. That sounds fabulous. So we know about the bakery, we know about the goods. Tell us about Red Wing. What makes Red Wing just a great place to live? Well, I think Red Wing's unique because of its location. It's close to a lot of great spots like the Twin Cities Metro, Rochester. And Red Wing also has like the river boats coming in all the time. So you can see, you know, the American Queen, uh, the Viking cruise ships. Uh, that makes it, I think, very unique. And also Red Wing has great um, bars and restaurants, parks, biking, hiking, all the great things you can do outdoors. Um, so it's a great little great little hideaway down here on the Mississippi River. Awesome, I can't thank you enough for having us. It's always good to see you, my friend. So when you're in Red Wing, or if you want a quick day getaway, stop down and be sure to check out Hannish Bakery and get an apple fritter. See you next time. I'm here at Crestview Court in Red Wing with my lifelong friend and co-list agent, Krista Clark. Krista, tell us about this home. This is a two-story custom-built home with six bedrooms, seven bathrooms, eight-car garage, over 12,500 square feet. Let's take a look. Love it. This home features appliances from Wolf and Sub-Zero, a fabulous owner's retreat, sauna, steam room, exercise room, home theater, and this fabulous outdoor space. This concludes our tour of Crestview Court in Red Wing, Minnesota. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. For some of us that have been in Uptown for a long time, you kind of look around and forget this is Uptown. Uptown historically was brownstones, old bungalows, small commercial buildings. In fact, in the late 1800s is when it kind of came around. People started building cottages around the lakes and it wasn't until the 1920s and that housing boom that you started to see the houses come in. Now fast forward to today, you see office buildings, you've got modern condos behind us along the Greenway, you've got rolling estates on the lakes. From the bars and restaurants to the art studios and the vintage shops, this area is alive, it always has been. Come take a tour with me to see what we have to offer here. Welcome to Uptown. Jeff, how you doing? Good to see you, Graham. It's good to see you. We're at Isle Bun and Coffee today. This is Jeff Weigel, the owner. We're gonna go inside and see what they have today. Tell us a little bit about it. I mean, you've been here for 30 years and I just found that out because I've been here for 30 years. This is my 30th year this year in Minneapolis. Carrie started in 1993 <laughs> and she just wanted a nice little neighborhood bakery, you know, where people could come in and be comfortable. Uh, seven years later, she had a nice, little, a nice little reputation for good cinnamon buns, but they hadn't been fully established, hadn't made any money yet. They were looking for somebody to take to the next level. And my wife and I bought it. Yeah. And, uh, 
that's when Steve's real estate business took off. Yeah, right, yeah, right, so. that's right. So I wanna know, and I think a lot of people wanna know, because what you're known for is those puppy dog tails. <laughs> or are they puppy tails? Puppy dog tails? Yeah, you, you look on the list behind you, people call them all sorts of things. <laughs> yeah. But it's a cinnamon twist. That's right. With frosting. Right. And it's a trademark puppy dog tail. Yeah. It's delicious. How did you decide to make that a staple, or did it just kind of happen? That happened on its own. It started with, what do we do? with the leftover pieces of dough after we make the buns. Because the buns were the item that started the shop. As you know, the nursery school was right next door. Right, right. right. And we attribute the name Puppy Dog Tales to the kids of the nursery school. And they've taken off. It's far and away the most popular item. Oh, it's, of, it's unbelievable. The I, frosting to dough ratio is higher than with a cinnamon. <laughs> the, the frosting to dough ratio should be that illegal. Is, that is <laughs> yeah, it really is, and it's good. And the frosting, honest to God, is so good, just as a standalone. There's one other secret that was a secret to me until recently, and that is your focaccia pizza. Tell me a little bit about that. Where did that come from? Has that always been here? No. Right, exactly. <laughs> it's fantastic, and I would say, honestly, you could put that pizza up against most other pizza shops in this city. When you go to the East Coast, you go to the West Coast, you see all sorts of bakeries, you see all sorts of this kind of stuff, but you'd never find it all in one place. I'm telling you, like literally, I know you say it's a secret here, and maybe it is to some people. If it's a secret to you, I hope it isn't anymore. This place is the best, in my opinion. I appreciate you saying that. Yeah. A lot of people do drive by up and down Hennepin and not look sideways. Yep. Well, start looking sideways, because you want to come here. Here we are in a new listing of ours. It's just next to Lake of the Isles in Bidet Makaska. It's a 3,000 square foot townhome built in 2007, designed by BVK Architects in the loop. This is the largest townhome available in this complex, and it's awesome. Aside from an exceptional interior, the exterior of this is just great. There's three different patio areas, some upstairs, some down, that you can overlook the greenway. With three bedrooms, four bathrooms, and defined spaces throughout, this one's hard to beat. We're in the primary suite up here with its own private balcony and tons of space. When BVK Architects designed this space, they knocked it out of the park. This is the perfect blend of open concept, yet each space has its own purpose. Thank you so much for taking a stroll with me through the area. Do yourself a favor, the next time you're here, make a plan to visit Uptown. And thank you for watching us on the American Dream. Join us next time. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show, produced from America's finest city, but shot in the heart of your neighborhoods. Don't forget, positive media when the world really needs it. Follow us on social media, at The American Dream TV. See you next time. In the meantime, cheers to your American dream.